Welcome to this talk about Antarctic polynyas. My name is Tor, and I'll show you what polynyas have to do with everything from surface winds to sea ice production and deep ocean circulation. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. This is Antarctica. It's the southernmost continent on the Earth. It's nearly twice the size of Australia. Yet only 1,000 people live there over winter. That's probably because it's super cold. During the coldest part of the year, the average temperature drops to minus 63 degrees Celsius. And if there was enough, about 98% of the area is covered by ice has an average thickness of 1.9 kilometers. And that doesn't even include the sea ice surrounding it. During winter, the area of the sea ice is larger than the continent itself. That is, a lot of ice. So let's get a better look at how the sea ice is formed. Strong winds come from a vast, cold continent out towards the ocean. These winds are called catabatic winds. They are extremely cold and causes wind stress on the surface of the ocean. When the cold air reaches the ocean, water begins to freeze, creating sea ice. The sea ice is then pushed away from the coast, paving way for more ice to be formed, and the process repeats. This repeats until an equilibrium is reached, when the sea ice layer extends far out in the South Ocean. Now look at these amazing satellite photos. What a view! In the lower left corner, you see the Antarctic continent, and on the upper right, you see the sea ice covered ocean. And there they are, the Polynyas. Nice dark patches of ocean where new ice is formed. And if you take a very good look at the laminations in sea ice a little further from the coast, you see that they're parallel to the coastline, indicating the flow of direction. Wow! Getting back to the previous illustration. When salty sea water freeze, the salt is rejected into the river. This causes dense, cold brine that sinks to the bottom of the ocean. This formation of deep water is a large driver in global circulation, specifically the lower part of it. And the water sinking here will travel around the world for hundreds of years before ever seeing the surface again. The ocean circulation, also called the thermal Hawaiian circulation, is driven by the temperature and salinity difference of the world's large oceans and travel through all major basins. And this is how it looks, seen from the South Pole. As we can see in blue, the dense cold water circulates in Antarctica and travels into the Pacific and Indian Oceans. In these oceans, the deep currents rise and slowly heat returning to Antarctica as warm surface currents. These travel into the Atlantic Ocean, where the Arctic deep water formation occurs. But that, that deserves its own video. Back to the public. As you can see on this satellite photo, and the sea ice fraction measurement to the left, polynias can also occur off coast, this one is called the Vettel Polynya and has appeared many times, here in 2017. For many years it was puzzling why that specific polynya it kept on appearing. However, as with many other problems, modern computers help solve it. In 2001, David Holland showed with computer simulations why 
why we should take a look at the subsurface and the reason for the permitting. Because it turns out that the massive seamount, Mount Rice, is causing the pollution. The seamount causes the currents to diverge, causing horizontal eddies that are on the north of the seamount. The horizontal cyclonic eddies cause ecmatic stress on the surface sea ice that pushes the ice away from the center. 